Hey guys and gals, Todd here with Great Escape Farms. Today I'm going to do a product review on a company called Garden Weasel and their product is the Large Nut Gather. So they have different sizes. This particular one is for gathering walnuts and nuts in the one and a half to three inch size. So what this is, a handle with a cage on it, stainless steel cage, and it is meant to pick up nuts and other things. And I found that it does fruit, and I'll show you that in a moment. And it allows you to pick these up while you're standing up straight without having to bend over. And then when you're ready to dump them, you grab this handle here, you push it up, and let me show you, it spreads the cage apart so the nuts can fall out. So. Very neat concept. I'm going to go ahead and show you how to use it on multiple different things, and then I'll give you my thoughts on it after the video is near the end. This is what I originally bought the Garden Weasel Large Nut Gatherer for, is to pick up black walnuts for ones, so I don't hit them with the lawnmower when I'm going through here, but for two, just so I can actually harvest the nuts here and use them. So I'll show you it in action here as it goes through and picks up nuts. Are this any? I don't think so. Okay, so this little area produced, what, four, eight, nine nuts. Some of which are usable, some of which are not. Okay, so what I have here are some nuts and I'm going to push this piece up so it opens, makes an opening, and then I just dump them out, and that's all there is to emptying it. The only thing I'd have to say is I have to bend over to do this. I can't do it standing up. I can do it standing up, but in doing it standing up, I, the, I've noticed the nuts and the fruit kind of go all over, and sometimes they miss the bucket. So I do get much better odds of getting in the bucket when I'm down closer. In addition to nuts, this thing is great for picking up fallen apples. Just push it over and it grabs them. Absolutely wonderful. Helps my back out a lot. The only issue I do have with apples is like this one right here. Though It's rotten a little and if it were bigger it would actually spread this out and I'd be losing apples as I'm spinning it around. So That is the only issue I found with apples. Other than that it is great with apples and peaches as well. And then I'll show you a couple peaches here in a minute. Bring it over and add it to the list here. Let me see if I can do this one-handed. Pushing up on the thing here, which opens it up like that. And Murphy is scared of this thing. You want it? He says, no, get it away from me. So I found that it works on little pairs too, but it's a little more challenging with these guys. You go spinning too fast and the rotten ones. Oh, let's see that. That one right there is just gonna go flying off and there's several rotten ones here that are not gonna come up. So I can, if I wanna get everything out of the lawn here, I can hand pick them, but you can see they're little baby pairs and it does get them up for the most part. So just for context, I have this peach here and I'm gonna hold it up next to another peach. It's about half the size of this peach. And this particular device right here picks them up pretty good, again, unless they're rotten. You can see it just reach right out and grab that and picks up all this fruit here so it doesn't rot on the ground and attract bees and rats. This will all go cross street to feed the deer since we are fenced in and the deer cannot get into this part of the yard. Okay, so real quick, what is my thoughts of this? So uh, there is, you'll see on this, a limited one time or a limited one year warranty on it. And that's only for manufacturer defects. So if I'm out using this thing and it, say, it specifically says not for commercial use. So in theory, I'm a commercial user because I do run a nursery business here and somewhat of an orchard. So that would kind of negate me. 
from getting any kind of warranty work on it and it's built well enough. I don't really see where they would have any manufacturer it errors. A couple of things I did run into, you can see right here where the pines on the cage are crossed. And I found that sometimes you just have to just spread them out. If you'll notice right here, these tines are real close together, which leaves a larger gap right here. It, uh, with two hands, you can actually spread it out and you can actually get it a little better. And it, it's versatile. It does require a little bit of maintenance like that. Overall, this thing is held up for an entire season for me of doing apples, pears, peaches, and uh, not quite the black walnut yet because that season is just about to start but this has been a very very good product i absolutely love it if it broke when i was doing black walnuts i would still be happy with it and get another next year just because of the back breaking work that this thing has saved me from having to do myself bending over and picking up the fruit around here and i don't really expect it to break it seems to be very very good quality metal handle uh, metal all the way around uh, this gray handle here and the gray piece up here is plastic, but overall, I would absolutely recommend this product to anybody for just using around the house and to save the back a little bit. So a couple things to note here. I actually saw this on another YouTuber's channel. It was Mind Mindful Living Sanctuary on YouTube, a guy by the name of Kevin Wallace. And on the Odyssey channel, I believe it's MLS. And he does this as well as a couple other things. So I'll give him credit for discovering this. I purchased it based on what he had out there. And his uh, he didn't do, really do a product review on it. He just showed him using it in the process of picking up nuts. But I really liked it. thought I could use it for multiple different things. So please check out his channel. He's got some neat stuff. And also I bought this from Amazon and I will have the link down in the show notes. Please, if you don't mind, uh, we are an Amazon affiliate. Please buy through our link. It won't cost you one penny more, but it will help us support a little bit better buying microphones and stuff like that. So I'm in the process of buying a microphone now, as well as a couple of other things. And we could definitely uh, use the income. So thank you very much. And I hope you enjoy the video here. By the way, please consider subscribing, commenting, and liking. All that helps our YouTube channel. So hope you enjoy the video.